Hi everyone! Today we are going to be making three easy and delicious snacks that use local raw or only slightly cooked fruits and vegetables. First up, we have chia seed pudding. We're going to start with our bowl here and we're going to add our milk of choice. We're also going to add in some vanilla extract and then also a little bit of local honey just to add a touch of sweetness but we really get to control how sweet this is and it's really great for keeping this as a healthy snack. We're gonna whisk together our liquids just to get everything nice and combined and then we're going to add in our chia seeds and give it a good mix. Now chia seeds are going to take on this liquid about 27 times their weight and they're gonna get this nice gel consistency that replicates pudding. So we're going to just let this hang out for about two to three minutes and then we're gonna come back and whisk it again just to make sure that we get all of the clumps out. This is going to chill for a few hours or overnight if you'd like. And when we pull it out of the fridge, we'll have chia seed pudding. This is a really versatile snack because you can switch out flavors and really add in anything that you'd like. I'm just gonna keep mine simple and top mine with some local sliced strawberries and some granola. This is just a chocolate granola with freeze dried strawberries, so keeping the flavors similar together. Once you've added your desired toppings, this is ready to enjoy. This is quick, easy, and delicious. Best of all, you can make this in a big batch, and kids love seeing this teeny tiny little chia seed soak up all of that liquid and turn into this magical pudding. Up next, if you're unfamiliar with this tool, this is a hand spiralizer. It turns your vegetables into noodles. One side is for thick, one side is for thin, and that top right there just goes into the end of the vegetable as it nears the blade. Now this is going to turn our zucchini here into zucchini noodles or zoodles. As you can see, those thin ribbons are perfect and they mimic pasta. This is great for doing a healthier twist on a pasta dish and you get to use local fresh vegetables. Now zoodles can be eaten raw like this or you can saute them a little bit just to soften them a touch. But the best part is, is that you really don't want to cook these for too long because they'll be mushy. So this is a really great either raw or just a few minutes slightly sauteed dish. And what we're going to do is if you saw our last video, we made that carrot top pesto. And we are just going to add this onto our zoodles. So this is really a local, almost waste free dish. And we are just going to drizzle this pesto on top. And this wouldn't be a pasta dish without a little sprinkling of cheese on top, so I'm just adding some freshly grated parmesan, and this is ready to enjoy. The hand spiralizer is a great tool to get kids involved in the kitchen and to get them excited about vegetables. They get to see these vegetables turn into magical pasta ribbons, and it gets them really excited to be a part of the meal and enjoy their food. And finally, we're going to be making local veggie cups, but we're going to start off by making our own healthy ranch dressing. So here I have some non-fat Greek yogurt. This is unflavored. You don't want flavored. We're going to add in some garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of lemon juice, some water to thin it out, a pinch of salt, and then we're going to add in some fresh herbs. So I'm just going to add in some fresh dill here. You could add in some chives or parsley if you'd like, but the dill really does give it that ranch flavor. We're going to whisk it up, and as you can see, it's quite thick, so I'm going to add just a touch more water to this. Once it gets to that ranch dressing consistency, we're ready to assemble our veggie cups. We're going to be making our veggie cups in some ramekins today, but you can make yours in disposable cups, bowls, it's completely up to you. In one of the ramekins, we're going to add in some hummus, which is really easy to make, or you can get it store-bought. It's delicious and it's great for kids. In the other ramekin, we're going to be adding our homemade ranch. And then we're going to layer in our vegetables. So I have some carrots, red peppers, and green peppers, but you can do any variety you'd like. This is a great snack because there's no cooking involved. The hardest part is just chopping up all of your vegetables. But once you get that done, you just assemble them and they are ready to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you give these recipes a try. Stay tuned for more videos on our channel and we hope to see you next time. Bye!